So in this video, I want to talk briefly about how to make use of the equation editor in Canvas to put in certain mathematical expressions. So let's say you're given a particular test question and you're, you have a text, bo text box and you want to put in your answer. So you might write here is some math and now you're kind of at the point where you say, well, I want to make use of some mathematical notation, but I'm looking at my keyboard and I can't find the symbols that I need. So in order to put the mathematical expressions in, we can hover over this pi, pi symbol and click on in this insert math equation button. So when we click on it, it'll bring up two different possible windows. It will either bring up the basic window, which is just a single window with a bunch of tabs and buttons above it, or we can click on the advanced window, window which was a smaller window with um, a kind of box below it. So let's start with the basic view. In the basic view, we can put forward uh, mathematical expressions by using our keyboard. So we can say 2a equals 5a, 6a or something like that. Or we can make use of these tabs up here to search for special symbols that we might want to make use of. So we might want to say that 2a is, just to kind of put some s stupid expression, is a member of, I don't know, phi. Let's, and we can make use of subscripts and superscripts uh, through this sub and superscripts as well as fractions and so forth. So let's say uh, 2a is a member of phi to the second, just to kind of have an expression. So once we've done this, once we kind of are satisfied with the expression that we see here, we can hit insert equation and it will pop right into the box right here. But there's another way we can make use of the equation editor and that is through the advanced view. So let's say here is uh, more math. Now we go to click again on the insert math equation and this time we'll click on advanced view. Now if you know any LaTeX code, you can simply type the LaTeX code and Canvas will put the expression in the window below. So we'll say if there exists an x that's p, then for all y, qy. So here we have this kind of conditional in a logical language and we can hit a insert equation and just simply typing this code in will give us this uh, formula below. So we'll hit insert equation. But let's say you don't want to take the time to learn all the commands for the symbols that you want. There is another way that you might make use of the advanced view. So let's say you type again, here is some more math. And one thing you could do is make use of the various apps that are out there, and some of them will take your writing of the expressions and turn them into LaTeX code. So one such app is this MyScript app. It's available on Android and iPad and so forth. And what happens here is you simply write in the expression you want. It will give you a display of that expression, and then it will give you a corresponding LaTeX or MathML code. So here I've taken our er earlier expression, there exists an x, that's p, if uh, upside down a y. And now, you, as you can see, as I sort of make a q, just using my mouse, or you could use a sort of stylus, q, y, um, I can take this LaTeX code here, copy it, I'm going to copy it, hitting control C, and then when I go back to Canvas, I can click insert math equation, and paste it into the advanced view, and it will give me the expression again, and I can click insert equation. So those three different ways that you might make use of the math equation editor, as well as how, you could just click on the pi symbol and make use of the basic view, type the symbols in, uh, click the buttons of the symbols that you need. You can make use of the advanced view by simply typing in the LaTeX code, or you can make use of an external app that kind of takes your writing and turns it into LaTeX code that you can then copy and paste into the advanced editor.